Hey there, I'm Arrozi and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. So, let's continue where we left off. I got four more turns to finish their alloys. That should give me enough time to get back to my territory, upgrade my armies, and then attack the Wild Walkers. The Wild Walkers are the only real threat left. Once I get rid of them, finishing this game is just going to be a formality. And I'm going to sell these units. I won't really need them for anything. And I can always use the money. So sell these and sell these. There we go. That's 3000, not bad. And another one down here. Okay. So I am kind of waiting for winter because I want to actually finish this quest. That would be nice. I'm just going to chill close to this ruin and wait for winter to end. Meanwhile, let's move. I need to go back to my territory. To upgrade these units. Not much point doing anything with this village. I don't really have enough influence anyway. Speaking of influence, how was the next empire plan? Nine turns. Would be nice to get the same empire plan. Or maybe even a better one. Oh, also, I can pop dust water now. I will have enough. So, move some more population to influence? I think so. I don't want to delay rare alloys though. Move this. And move this. That's 222 influence per turn. That should be enough. I'm pretty sure that's enough. Reactivate. Okay, so. That army will stay next to the ruin. These guys need to go back here. And that's the end of the turn. Oh yeah, I got a Minotaur now as well. So I can add him to this army right here. And yet another Centaur. So new army. Move him here. And merge him with that army. And my hero leveled up. Nice. Which hero is that? Oh, my governor. Let's see, what do I actually want? More influence. Yep, more influence. That's 227 influence per turn. Okay. Well, still waiting for winter. Which is kind of annoying because... I don't know how long I'll have to wait. 1 to 16 turns. That's a pretty big spread. And I need to upgrade this army. Before I declare war on the Wild Walkers. Oh well. We'll wait. I could just skip that quest, but I don't really want to. Now, oh, can I do anything with this? Well, I probably shouldn't because I need influence for the Empire plan. You'll go back here. And next turn. I did queue up Royal Academy to create science stockpiles. They might be useful. Another hero leveled up. Let's see, more attack on units. Yep, I think that's a no-brainer. Oh, what? Interesting. They actually attacked one of my villages. Really? Do they have a death wish? Apparently they do. Was it this one? Yeah, it looks like it was that one. I'm just going to ignore them for now. I need to deal with the wild walkers. Yeah, I need to deal with the Wild Walkers. But I'm actually kind of surprised that they attacked my village. I don't have Cold War with them. And they are terrified. Okay. I'll have to pay them for peace, really? I normally wouldn't. But I don't want them to destroy my villages. I have a lot of money. So I'll just give them some. What? You want 1,000? Seriously? Okay, never mind that plan then. I'm not going to give them 1,000. I can go attack something. If I get a chance to. I really don't want them to destroy these villages. But yeah, I need to focus on the Wild Walkers, so whatever. The main problem is that losing these villages will cost me this resource. Meteorite. 
And I kind of need that. More village units spawned. And empire plan soon. How much influence is this? 1200. I should have enough influence for the same exact empire plan. Sell this. Hold on, if I assign everything to influence, will I get 1600? All of these guys? Yeah, I can get 1600. That's what I needed to maximize my empire plan. I need 400. So this is a little bit too much. Yeah, this is definitely too much. The city is about to grow. 491. 466. Can I make the city grow on the next turn? No, probably not. Okay, move this to science then. This should be enough. Yeah, this will be enough. I can move one more population. Or two more population. Looks good. Their alloys will be done on the next turn. I can move some to production. Probably more than this. Alright, this is fine. So, move back. Do I really want to wait for this stupid quest? I think I'm going to ignore that quest for now. Yeah, I need to move through here. I'm going to ignore this quest for now. It's not that important. Upgrading my armies is a lot more important than this. I can always finish the quest later. Okay, next. I could send some defenses to these cities or villages, but... By the time I get there, they will get destroyed, probably. So, research is done. And yeah, he's just going to destroy these villages. That's really annoying. But it's okay, he's going to pay for that. Sooner or later. He's going to pay for that once I'm done with the Wild Walkers. As for research, I think I'll focus on military technologies, because that makes sense. I could go for extra army slots, or I could go for plus 20% defense. I'll grab the defense first, and then extra army slots. Alright, so now I need to update my designs. And then retrofit my armies. I'll need to update all of these units. So, let's start from the Minotaur. Now, I don't have a lot of resources, so I need to be careful. Yeah, these weapons are expensive. I probably can't afford everything. I need 9 Hyperium to get one weapon. Wow, okay. How do I want to do this then? Do I need to update anything else? Kind of? No, not really. Just weapons? Hmm. Well, this is kind of tough. Fanatic. Nine. Yeah, I need nine each for one weapon. That's expensive. I'll probably upgrade the units with my main hero only. Which means... Three Minotaurs. I can afford that. That will leave me with three Hyperium. I guess I'll do that. Resource booster and then reactivate. That's the influence booster. How's that empire plan? Oh yeah, I need four more turns. Okay. This wasn't necessary then. I thought I'm going to get that empire plan on the next turn, but no. I don't need population on dust. City will grow on the next turn. Use this. So, Royal Academy will be done on the next turn. What next? What's this? Oh yeah, plus three science on train with the river. I don't need that. I should just focus on units. Yep. So, move this guy. Oh, also, I need to give my heroes better items. So, I'll probably spend my resources to upgrade my heroes and not my actual units. 
Yeah. Especially with these extra accessory slots. Well, no, I don't have the accessories that use these resources, but I have the weapons. Let's see. What do I want on this guy? I don't think I'm going to replace the quest shield. It's pretty good. Plus 20% defense. That's hard to beat. Yeah, not much point replacing that with something that will use Mithrite. Just to get plus 20% defense again. Which is the same exact bonus that I'm already getting. I'll just give him a weapon. But which weapon? What is he using? Initiative? Maybe. Plus 48 damage. Not bad. And plus 6 initiative. I like this one. The other option is plus 48 damage. No initiative, but higher attack. I think I prefer a little bit of initiative. I'm actually going to lose initiative with this weapon, but I'm going to gain a lot of other stats. Plus 48 damage is quite a lot. Yeah, these are my only options. The other weapons are 200s. Yep, these are 200s. Okay, let's go for this one then. That's going to cost me 3 Mithrite. So we can grab this. What about these accessory slots? I should use them for something. He's using army initiative boost and army damage boost. I can give him a personal damage boost. Improve damage and personal initiative boost. That works. Which one was it? Improved life? Nah, I prefer initiative and damage. There we go. 191 attack. 163 damage. Yeah, this guy is pretty good. Apply. Okay, other hero now. Let's see. I got one extra accessory slot. So that's going to be what? Life? I think so. She already has army initiative boost, so I don't need to use an item for that. I mean army damage boost. I don't need to use an item for that. Where was that life item? Yeah, this one. Improved life. Okay, sure. Maybe improved movement? No, I don't think I need movement. It's a ranged hero, so movement is not that important. Okay, weapon. That's a one-hander. I probably want to keep that shield. So, what are the options? This one. Plus 95 attack, plus 48 damage. And this. No, that's a two-hander. This is a one-hander. So, what's the difference? This one has lower attack, but it has some defense. I think I prefer higher attack and slightly higher initiative on this one, but 81 initiative is already pretty damn high. So let's grab extra attack. Okay, looks good. Apply. Yeah, these two heroes are pretty damn strong right now, but I need to reshuffle these armies a little bit. So... Oh yeah, do I want to upgrade any more units? Probably. How much am I getting per turn? 1.3 per turn. And that's the resource that I'm getting from these regions? No. Oh yeah, I have one in my home region, right. Okay. So it's safe to use Hyperium. Not so safe to use Mithrite because I'm about to lose most of that. But I can use Hyperium. Let's see, upgrade these guys. This is my strongest unit, more or less. So, weapon. What are the 200s here? Well, just one 200 that uses Hyperium. So, this one. No, there are two 200s actually, okay. Plus 111 attack, plus 13 initiative, plus 56 damage. Right, so the main difference is that this one has a little bit of defense and lower initiative. And slightly lower attack, 
But the difference is minimal. Three points of difference in attack value. So plus eight defense, plus four initiative. This guy's defense is not that great. I'll go for this one. Is the cost the same for both? Yeah, the cost is the same, exactly the same. Okay, that works. Improved initiative, improved damage. I'm not going to replace that. Apply. And now I can upgrade this army. Yeah, upgrade. That leaves me with 5 Hyperium. So I can't upgrade anything else. But this army is pretty damn strong now. And it will be even stronger once I get that technology. That will give me 2 extra army slots. So I could just declare war right now. There's no need to wait. Or on the next turn. But I still need to reshuffle these armies a little bit. So remove non-upgradable units from my hero's armies. This guy is not upgradable. Because that was a converted unit from a village. So remove him. This is also not upgradable. Remove that. These are all non-upgradable. And replace that with this. I'll remove one of the preachers. I don't need two preachers in one army. That's a bit of an overkill. I actually need one extra unit. From somewhere. I should just recruit one. Yeah, I don't want to use two preachers. That's overkill. Recruit another unit there. Oh yeah, I should update the design for that hero. Uh, for that healer unit, I mean. I didn't do it at all. So, I'll give him a proper weapon. I almost have enough Mithrite to get one. But yeah, I won't be getting a lot. It makes more sense to use Hyperium. Which one do I want then? His initiative is super low. But none of these have any initiative, so never mind. 111 attack. Or 99 attack. His heals are dependent on his damage value. But the damage on these is exactly the same. This is between defense and life, basically. I think I prefer life. One hundred eighty-six life. Yeah, that's quite a significant difference. Okay, armor, tier three, and accessories. Improved initiative and improved damage. That's a no-brainer, I think. Wow. Okay, his initiative is just non-existent. Is this a percentage bonus? That has to be a percentage bonus on initiative. Oh yeah, it is. So there's no point using that with 4 initiative. He's just always going to move last, I suppose. Okay, what was glory or death again? Oh, extra morale. I'll take improved damage. And what else? Improved life. Improved movement. I don't think he needs more movement. No, his movement is fine. So improved life. Okay, improved life and improved damage. Oh, improved life is actually pretty good. Plus 20% life. So that's 319. That's much better. Okay, I'll recruit one once I get enough Hyperium. Can't I just buy Hyperium from the market? I can. It's kind of expensive. But I can do it. 1000? Okay, whatever. I'm doing it. And recruit one of these guys. Okay, I'll get him on the next turn. So, I'll use him for my second hero's army. Or for this hero's army, it doesn't really matter all that much. Okay. I could just bring all this cannon fodder with me. But I will leave some defenses in my city. There are already some defenses in the city. 
Alright, next. And now I can declare war on the Wild Walkers before they start colonizing all these regions to the north. So, come here. New army. You'll go here. And I got more units to sell. There we go. I'm ready to declare war. Let's do it then. Not much point waiting. Oh, we are technically at war. Did he declare war on me? I guess he did. I didn't even notice when that happened, but okay. I don't really mind. That's what I was going to do anyway. This is going to be a slightly one-sided fight right here. Well, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to do this manually. These units aren't that tough. Maybe I shouldn't do this manually? Nah, let's do it manually. I don't want to lose anything. Okay. So. I got one healer here. Preacher. Hero should be somewhere in the front, probably. No, that's the ranged hero. Should be in the back. And that's my healer. He should stay in the back. You can go here. And ready. So, focus on one at a time. Let's see. Who's going to move first? Oh yeah, the Preacher will move first. And then this guy. Yeah, I'll focus on one unit at a time, and that makes sense. These are quite resistant. So it will take quite a few attacks to actually kill them. Okay, just one Preacher? Yeah, just one. I'll buff the hero then. Alright, let's get started. I shouldn't lose anything, but I need to be careful anyway. There are quite a few units here. And they have fortification bonus on top of their fairly significant health pool. So I need to do almost 500 damage. Not that it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I'm going to take quite a lot of damage. That healer is actually going to be quite useful. That's a non-upgradable healer, but still, he has 135 damage. I should replace him with a proper healer. No, that's my proper healer, what am I talking about? Yeah, that is the proper healer. So... I think I can split up now. That should be fine. Yeah, I can split up a bit. So, attack this guy with half of my army, and attack this guy with the other half. Sounds like a plan. I'll heal this dude. Buff up one of the Minotaurs. And... Start. 120. There's no hero with this army, which is definitely helping. If this army had a boss from a hero, this fight would definitely be harder. As it stands, they don't have a chance. It's just a question of how much damage I'm going to take in the process. So, what do I want to heal now? Probably this guy. Who needs a buff? This guy. Okay, focus on this. Like so. And... On this. Got some reinforcements. Okay, go. What's that in the back? Oh, is that militia? This? I can't click that. Until my turn. 132. Decent. Can I not kill that guy on this turn? I guess not. Good damage here. This should be a kill. Yep, that's a kill. No, I will kill this guy. Two kills on this turn, nice. Come on. Is this militia or what? Yeah, that's militia. Okay. Right, I will raise this city if I win this fight. 
unless it ends with a draw, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I should be able to win this just fine. Okay, heals. Heal the Minotaur. And... Focus fire this guy. Who needs a buff? This guy. Okay, sure. My hero needs a buff again. Okay. And a fanatic or one of the Minotaurs. Kill the militia. I don't think I will need that many attacks. No, definitely not. 80% chance to do almost 200 damage. Yeah, that's overkill already. Attack something else instead. Like this guy. That looks good. Phase 4. Yeah, I'll win this fight easily. Even with their large health pulls. That's not going to help them with all the damage I got in here. 213, nice. And this should be a kill. No, zero damage, really? Right, my fanatics have fairly low attack value. But that had to be low chance to do zero damage. Come on. 119 attack. 18% chance to do zero damage. I guess that's quite significant. Okay, I don't even have to micromanage this anymore. I don't think so. They are just going to die. I should just pick who's going to get the buff. This guy. And... Let's say this guy. And I'll just launch the next phase. I got three more units to kill. I should be able to kill them. Come on. That's a kill. This guy. There's not a lot of room around here. But I hope it's going to be enough. That's phase five. So, can I do it right now? I should be able to. Okay, go. That's the last phase right now. So I kind of need to kill them, but I'll have to attack them one more time on the next turn. Not that's it a big problem. I already killed most of this army. So, one last guy to kill. But I don't think I can attack him anymore. No. My ranged hero can attack him. But that's not going to be enough to get a kill. No. He's down to like 10% health. Oh, he died. Right, my healer killed him. Nice. Destroyed everything. And the city is gone. <laughs> that had to be one of their biggest cities too. Thanks to be them. There's their hero. Oh, their hero was one tile too far away from this region. Yeah, sucks to be them. But anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. And I'll see you next time.